Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm in Fort Lauderdale today on Sailfish's brand new 312cc. Now I've always been a fan of this boat brand and that's because they have some great construction techniques. One of them is what they call sail tech and that's the system by which they assemble these boats. It amounts to using Kevlar, carbon fiber, quad axial fiberglass and the technique and the personnel that put them together with such craftsmanship. As we ran the boat, we found out it had excellent handling and always a soft ride. That's due to what Sailfish calls the Variable Degree Stepped Hull, or VDS. It starts out at a 24 degree dead rise, then it goes to 23, and as it widens out towards the chines, it's 22. What that does is it gives you a great ride through chop and outstanding stability when you're trolling or moving along at a slower speed. Now some of the best things you're going to find on this boat are right here at the helm. First, let's talk about the Yamaha motors. These are F300 outboards with all electronic steering and controls and joystick. The joystick gives you three modes of operation. You've got stay point, which we're using right now, and that is holding the boat's position and orientation. Fish point holds you over a spot, but lets the boat seek its own position. Lastly, you have drift point that lets you set up a drift and it holds the boat in the direction you want it to drift. Now, this system darn near makes an anchor unnecessary on this boat, but we've still got a windlass on board and a through stem anchor system. Last thing you want to know is the electronic throttle and the electronic steering are super smooth and easy to operate. Now Sailfish prides themselves on the ergonomics of their helm stations. I gotta hand it to them, they did a nice job here. When you sit in the seats, the footstep is perfectly positioned for comfortable driving. The helm is an easy reach, the throttles are an easy reach, and look at this, the trim tab switches are right there at your fingertips when you're in gear and moving forward. You don't have to take your hands off the throttles to adjust the trim. The captain's seat even slides fore and aft just with the touch of an electric switch. Now the first thing your friends are gonna do when they get in the boat is throw their keys and their wallet and their phones up here. Instead of having them rattle around, Sailfish has built this compartment here, complete with the acrylic lid so you can still see them and find them easily. The hard top is super durable. It's got a tempered glass windshield that runs all the way around. When you look up, you'll see that there are five rocket launchers and two Kingfish rod holders on the sides. It's set up to receive outriggers should you decide for them and their position where you can easily adjust them from within the boat. Now one thing you're going to notice right away is that the 312 has an awesome and large fighting cockpit. That's thanks to its 9 foot 9 inch beam. Now there's over 60 gallons of live well capacity here between the live well and the leaning post and here on the port side transom. You've got six rod holders in the transom and four on each gunnel. Underneath the gunnel, you've got storage for six rods, three on each side. Now at the leaning post, you've also got plenty of tackle storage. Two drawers open aft, and on the port side, you've got a locker for four Plano tackle boxes. Now Sailfish is always about hardcore fishing, but they never forget the recreational boater as well. That's why you've got this fold-away transom seat. You've got another one in the starboard gunnel, and you've got a dive door here in the port side gunnel. I like the handle that folds around and helps you up the ladder. You've also got a boarding ladder on the starboard platform and a starboard boarding door. That's gonna be handy too for pulling in large fish and sliding them right into the fish box on the starboard or the port side of the console. Now the bow area has been designed with the recreational fishermen in mind as well. You not only have an outstanding place to stand and fish for bottom fish, look at these thick cushions here to give you very comfortable lounges. And here's what I discovered that I think is really cool. Those pop up to give you a super comfortable backrest and push them down and they're out of the way for fishing. To add to the family fun, you've got a little compartment on either side to store phones and sunscreen. You've got charge points for phones and a cocktail table sets up right here in the center. Now when you want to get to your windlass, pop that up and 
you've got easy access to the anchor locker and windlass. And to keep your crew refreshed all day, you've got a large cooler right here under the front lounge. Now one of the most appreciated features on board the Sailfish is going to be the head compartment below the console. It's super large. It's got over six feet of headroom. You've got a toilet in there, a freshwater sink. Flip down the panel towards the electronics and you have easy access to service your electronics. Now another thing that Sailfish's Sailtech assembly gets you is super durable, highly polished hardware. Like the hinge there on the boarding door and the latch and the handle that swings around. Even the boarding ladder is highly polished stainless steel and nicely stowed in this dedicated area. You notice that the hatch lifts up on gas struts and gives you wide access to your pumps, plumbing, and wiring. The Sailfish 312cc is the latest hardcore fisher from Sailfish. But clearly, they don't miss a trick when it comes down to the recreational boater. I'm Randy Vance.